Hey guys and welcome back to a new video and this will be a very quick one but something that is very interesting if you want that behavior and that is how you can uh, use the auto start feature on Android or how you can execute a certain piece of code when the Android device is booting up. And this is actually very easy on Android. All we really need for that is a broadcast receiver. So a broadcast is just something, um, basically an event, a one-time event the Android system or another app sends, which other apps can then observe. And that is exactly the case when the device is actually booted up, then the Android system will send that broadcast which contains the information, hey, uh, now that boot is complete, and your app can then register to actually receive these boot completed events and then yeah, just execute some piece of code for example to start a service automatically when uh, the device is booted up or something similar. Another common use case is if you use this together with alarm manager that you simply reset all your alarms when the device is booted up because alarms are simply deleted when, yeah, when, the, when the device is turned off but you need to reset these when it's turned on again so that the alarms will properly trigger for example for an alarm clock or calendar app. So what we want to do is we want to go to a root package and create a class called boot completed receiver which will be our broadcast receiver so that will inherit from broadcast receiver and here we now need to implement our on receive function which will trigger when that broadcast is sent. Let's replace the names here with context and intent and how can we know that this is really the um, broadcast we want? We can actually check if the intent action is equal to intent.action boot completed. So that is the action the Android system will attach to the intent. It will then send together with that broadcast. And if that's the case, we can simply have a print line statement here with hello world, um, boot it up or so. And that will then be triggered when the device is booted up. That's not enough yet. We also need to register this, this receiver in the manifest. So let's go here in our Android manifest. And below this activity, we want to specify a receiver our boot completed receiver and we want to set exported to false. Um, so what does exported mean? That basically means um, with, that, with that setting we can either allow or disallow other apps to kind of um, trigger this receiver in our case. So if this would be true, which is the default, then that would mean that other apps could simply send that broadcast to our app and then our broadcast receiver would be triggered. But that's not what we want. We want only the Android system to be able to trigger this, otherwise this could be abused. And in here we want to specify an intent filter where we say the action we want to observe is, um, is it, yeah, boot completed here, this one. And then we can close this off. So with this intent filter, we basically just say our broadcast receiver should trigger for these specific actions. And this is sent by the Android system. So that way we can make sure that our broadcast receiver is actually triggered here and our line will be executed. If you want to use other kinds of dependencies from your application in here in this broadcast receiver, you can pass these in the constructor. That won't work because then yeah, the Android system expects to initialize this with an empty constructor. But you can use dagger hilt together with the Android entry point annotation up here. And then you can use simple uh, field injection here with add inject and late in variables, then you can also inject your repositories, your databases or whatever in here. So if we now launch this on my emulator and we take a look, now that's um, yeah, just properly set up, our app is now registered with that broadcast receiver. So what we now want to do is we want to go to our AVD tab, so um, device manager here, and we want to go to the device we just launched, go to this little menu icon and click cold boot now. So our device will just boot up. Um, yeah, we need to close it before, of course. Let's close that emulator and then say cold boot now here for our emulator. And then we can kind of simulate a real um, boot up here for our system. If we then go to Lockcat and we wait until our device is recognized here, we can click on that and say hello world. And then let's wait until that is properly booted up and then after some delay, we should be able to receive our broadcast message, our print line statement here. One more thing before we can test this is we need to go to our manifest and actually add a permission, which is called users permission receive boot completed. So we basically need to register an app um, that the user knows, okay, this app actually does something when your device is booting up. This is not a permission we need to request from the user. We just need to add it here in our manifest. And if we then launch this on our emulator, 
take a look here. And then, of course, not, nothing will happen in our app, but we need to launch the app once so that the receiver is registered properly. If we then close our emulator, go to our emulator tab here and go to Device Manager, we want to cold boot now. So here on this options icon, cold boot now to simulate booting up. And then let's wait a little moment. And then here in Lockhead, make sure you select your emulator, filter for hello world. And then when that is booted up, we hopefully get a print line statement here in our Lockhead. Yes, there we go. You can see here it is system out and it says hello world I'm booted up which is now coming from our application so if you need to do something when the device is booting up now you definitely know how to do that it's actually quite simple and if you want to take this one step further and want to learn how you can build industry level android apps then check the first link in this video's description I have a bunch of courses on my website which just go a lot further than I can do here on YouTube apart from that thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video bye bye